What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we're going to be talking about all of the new bold cards in NBA 2K24, my team. And what are these bold cards? Well, they are the free cards that are going to be out today, lads. So, um, we've obviously got Rolando Blackman as the card that we didn't know of. And before we go, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. We're 26.6 or 26.200. We can get 27.500 by the end of this month. That would be absolutely insane. But um, yeah, anyway, so these are the cards that we have got right here. And first up is Rolando, or sorry, is Jeff Teague. And Jeff Teague is probably going to be very easy to get. He's 6'3, he's got a 6'7 wingspan. And let me just move this slightly over here so that my face cam is not blocking any of the stats. Um, but he has Fee Mikhailik base with Tyus Jones up. Look, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that's like in game. I really don't. It could be great. It could be terrible. I legitimately have got no idea. Um, and you've got pro dribble style on him, which is not terrible. Look, I don't mind pro. Some people hate it. I like pro. He's also got the normal leaner, which is good. 6, 3, 6, 7 wings. But look, if you're just starting off this game, he's a pretty much a free card. Because look at the stats. 90 driving dunk, 93 ball, 98 speed, 98 acceleration, 95 lateral, 94 steel. With them. Um, right stick, ripper, glove, fast feet. Doesn't come with movable enforcer, but he's fine. Don't get me wrong. Like, is he brilliant? No, he's fine. He's absolutely fine. Jeff Teague. Rolando Blackman, does he have the same three ball as this card? No, barely upgraded from his Sapphire. He's got 92 speed, 90 acceleration, 97 mid is good though. 6'6 six, six with 6'9 six, wingspan. Not the best hot zones. Uh, oh, he sucks. Oh no, he really sucks. No movement in four. So he does get half clamps of fast feet, I guess. Interceptor, triple strike. He's got 85 driving dunk. No, he's garbage. At this stage, for this stage of the game, this guy is a straight up garbage man. There is no, like, I can't see the logic for this card in any circumstance, even if he's free. Like, because of how ass his release is, and look, Trey Young Dribble Style is not terrible, it's not great either. But at the same time, regardless of how bad, he's a basic leaner. He sucks. Like, he's actually garbage. Um,. He's a versatile player, he, but he may foul at worst free guard of all time. 92 contest, 94 foul. Oh, he's got 94 foul tendency. Oh, he's a garbage man. He is an absolute garbage man. And we got Gerald Green. Defense is very bad. You know, sorry, not very bad. Very, very iffy. That's the best way to describe it. Like, he's got a couple of goal defense, but he needs some key ones. 98 driving is great. 93 three balls great. 94 speed is great, I guess. 90 lateral is fine. He's got a decent player build. He's not great. He's really not great. Like, if I were you guys, I wouldn't be too bothered about going for this guy. Because it's not like he's a terrible card. But he's still not great. His release is fine. His dribble style, fine. His build, good. He's got a good build. Steel tendency. I, I'm always iffy. Oh my god, he's got a zero steel tendency. I was about to say, oh, I'm, I don't really think tendencies matter that much. Because, like, if you look, for example, one of my favorite guys for just adding random steals is this guy here. And his tendency, I think, is, like, 25. I've never seen a zero before. <laughs> I've never in my life seen a zero on Bosley tendency. I've never seen zero. Oh, my God. What have they done? Like, why is Jeff T the best of the pink diamonds? Like, man, I thought last, like... Last week, we got OG and an OB. Like, Barstia might be better than all of these big diamonds. Like, we got OG last week. And even Duran wasn't absolutely terrible. Like, Duran is like 75% of Bill Russell. But, um, yeah. Ugh. And we got Kenny and Martin. 89 three ball is fine, because it's the same as this one, is it? Yeah. And he'll hit when he's wide open. 94 speed, 92 acceleration. 95 driving dunk, 90, 90 plus in all the defensive stats. Every defensive badge at least on gold. Uh, he's got a move enforcer. Other than right stick ripper, he's got all the and 94 feet, he's got all the key ones. He is he's flawless. Agent threes, maybe you'd want to give to him. That's just what I'm thinking off the top of my head, like of what you might want to give this guy, but like other than that, he's real good. 
He's real good. So we were saying we have Opal Braun at home. Opal Braun at home. Tenacious upper. Tenacious upper is... Is it good? Again, I, I don't know. It was just... It felt slow. I used this Ruby and it did feel slow. But this release on very quick has to be good. But like elite uh, motion style. He's not going to create. He had the normal leaner. He's got the normal behind the back, which isn't great. He's just going to be your perfect 3 and D wing. And he plays small forward, which is huge. This is one of the better small forwards in the game. Like, there's no if, ands, or buts about it. Like, this guy is one of the best small forwards in the game. I'm trying to think of guys off the top of my head that I would, like, say are way better than him. I can't think of any that are significantly better. Because, like, there are better players than him. So I'm just going to look at position, small forward, include secondary right here. Is Giannis better than him? Yes. Giannis is better than him, but let's ignore. 100 overalls don't exist. Is Glenn Rice different player? Nick Young, different player. Is he better than Larry Bird? Maybe. Is Scotty better than him? Probably, but I can't say for sure. Brandon Roy, different player. Ricky Davis, different player. Adam Morrison, different type of player. Is he better than... He's better than Sean Kemp. Or he's Sean Kemp. Like, yeah, let's look at these stats. And let's look at the animations. Like, Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan, Romeo Langford, Malachi Flynn are very quick. He's, he's just Sean Kemp. I like I like Sean Kemp. I think Sean Kemp's real good. And you're basically getting free Sean Kemp. Or, like, again, your free Opal LeBron equivalent, which is a really decent thing to get. Then you've got Stevie Francis. 98 speed, 90 acceleration, 93 three ball, 98 driving dunk, 95 lateral, 95 steel, block. He's not going to block shots anyway. Uh, defensively clamps fast feet. I would... Okay, so he doesn't have his next gen ones up yet. I would hope he gets right stick ripper at least. Um, if he can get right stick ripper, I'd be happy. But still, and if he get somehow get 94 feet, that'd be really good. He does have agent three. He does have a limitless range. Anchor breaker blow by handles for days. Speed booster. His interior is fine, I guess. Stevie Francis on very quick, which isn't a terrible release. Kyrie dribble style. The Stevie size up's really good. The normal leaner. I normal leaner are very quick. Still one of the best leaners in the game. The pro behind the back, it's probably one of the good ones. You're basically getting Derek Gross. Like, if you want to compare these two guys right here, um, player build wise, they're going to be very similar. Um, you get a couple more defensive badges on Derek Gross. And the Hall of Fame anchor is big. I'll admit that, that is big. But if you're looking at animations, release wise, give me Steve Francis over D Rose. Same dribble style, give me Francis over D Rose size up. Um, Pro versus James Harden is a very close one in the behind the back. So I'm not going to say one's better than the other because I think that's just a preference. They're basically the same card. Except this guy is gamble only and this guy is completely free. So that's the one thing I will say about this card here is that like his jumper is weird. Like he's, he's just a 6'3 guard. Like he's your 6'3 guards. Like, yeah, you can argue like a John Wall is better at 6'4. But like, again, you want to look secondary position, primary or primary point guards. He's not as good as, probably not as good as Gilbert. That's because Gilbert shoots the ball that much better than him. Um, he's not going to be as Reeves. But he's going to be like probably better than like a Mac McClung. So he's going to be fine. Like if you're a Steve Francis fan, he's going to be fine. But now this is the be, this is the be all and end all. This is our guy. This is our guy. And when I mean this is our guy, I mean like height doesn't mean anything, everything anymore. You can get away with... Um, like, you can genuinely get away with undersized um, bigs. You can get away with a 6'10 center. You probably wouldn't don't want to use a 6'10 center. You can get away with one, especially if you want a 7 4 wingspan. Or you can just play on power forward. 97 speed, 97 acceleration. His defensive stats are all either 99 or 98. 95 driving dunk. 83 balls, fine. Would you rather it be a, it'd be a bit higher? Sure. Get one of the coaches, gives him a plus three three ball, put a plus four three ball shoe. There are so many of those plus four three ball shoes you can get very easily. And suddenly you're looking at him um, close to a 93 ball. Every defensive badge in Hall of Fame. For this game, an elite handball seal tendency, so many of them are low. With a 99 contest and block tendency. A lot of people saying, wonder when they're going to drop another Lamelo. He is Devin Booker dribble style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's got Kobe leaner. But lads, he they gave him Trez base. Look, I don't... I've shot with Jonathan Bender, and it's one of the worst... He's one of the worst shooters in the game. 
Because he has to fall big upper. So I can't really like go out there and say, oh, he's that base is terrible this year. Because I don't know if Montrez Harrell's base is bad, good or bad this year. I just want to see um fine. I just want to see our people happy about it. If the jumper is good, is the release good? So it does it does seem like people don't really know whether or not um this is the SIGs guy. This is the guy who posts animations. People don't really know how good the Montrez Harrell base is this year, because last year it was insane. Like, is did they give him Trez base last year? Because I know they gave him a new base. On this one here, they gave him a brand new release. That was Eric Pasco, Kobe Bryant. They gave him Montrez base. Like, I don't know. I know Trez was like a really good release for big man last year. Either way, he's still gonna be able to hit from the corner. Like it's not like the upper is bad. It's not like the upper is bad at all, if we're being honest. Um But yeah, um This card's elite. This card's elite. Even still, Mitchell Siza, Booker, um, dribble style, Kobe Escape, Pro behind the back, Kobe Leaner, 99 every defensive stats. Look, he's still one of the best power forwards in the game no matter what. And if this ends up being like an S tier release, because the upper is really easy to green. If this ends up being like a top tier release, probably best power forward in the game, to be honest. That isn't named Victor Weminyama or Chris Asporzingis, because those guys are just jokes. He's really the third best power forward in the game. The best non-gambling power forward in the game by a mile. So, the Pink Diamonds stink. I will say that. The Pink Diamonds absolutely stink. Um, I hope that this one isn't longer than the Curry, because the cards you got in the way to Curry were way better. Um, Kenny and Martin's really good. Stevie Francis. Ugh. And um, Bill Russell, I'm not the biggest fan of. So, yeah, that is... That's it for me. Or that is it for these guys. I think Bill Russell's elite. I'd go and get him, honestly. Um, I think he's really, really good for that. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.